we're back on the road again. Uh, I'm in Arkansas, Arkansas. And uh, we had a real good time at home. Uh, my nephew and his family uh, came down to visit, which is, we didn't have a plan that I'd be home, so it was the uh, Lord worked it out. And uh, I haven't seen him in a while, and it was really good to see him. Uh, he was a he's a born again Christian, got saved I think a few years ago. Uh, I was able to give him a good King James Bible, and uh, praise the Lord! I hope he reads it. His name is Josh. Uh, he's a corn husker from. Nebraska, and boy, he looked like it. He looked like a muscle man. But we uh, we wanted to do something, and in Dahlonega, Georgia, the, about the only thing to do is to go see the gold mine. So we went to the Consolidated uh, Gold Mine. It's been closed for years. It's only open uh, for tourists go in you got a, a guide and he walks you down through there uh, and about every 10 steps they stop and he talks about something and then you get down to the bottom which is 200 feet down 20 stories down and he turns you around and he goes okay let's go back up and then there it's everybody for themselves come down <laughs> And I'm old and fat, so I was breathing pretty heavy when I got to the top of that uh, hill there. But we had a real good time. One thing, though, the guy, it was a young kid that was, uh, that was uh, giving the tour guide. And, you know, they, got, they run on a script, I know. But one thing he said is he said, gold? And I've never heard this before. It was not made on Earth. It was transported in the cosmos and deposited on Earth. Now the fundamental independent premillennial Bible believing sin hating Baptist in me wanted to say, oh no, God created the heaven and the earth and gold was he put the gold here, but I just kept my mouth shut and uh we got to see, you know, how they did it. That's where they had the, uh, what they called the glory hole. But that, that's, uh, that phrase, because he never mentioned it. I went there 20 years ago, or probably more than 20 years ago. And I was a lot younger, a lot better shape, so it didn't even phase me. But uh, they took out pounds and pounds of gold out of uh, that mine and out of that certain uh, hole. But they changed the name of it because it's uh, in, not politically correct or whatever. But yeah, my and then Josh took my mother and I think they went to Callaway Gardens and had a good time there. And uh, he, he was bringing her back tonight we had already left and then they're gonna go to Six Flags and then go uh, back to Nebraska but man it must be nice to have that kind of energy after the consolidated mine deal I was wore out and then we mined you know they got these little pan it's a gimmick they they uh salt the you know the sand a little bit with little bitty pieces of gold and you mine it out and then you think you've done something but we did that and a little boy had a lot of fun uh, his son and it was a blessing to see him so uh, Josh if you hear this uh, God bless you I love you and I thank you for coming to visit me and if you want to you can take mom back with you no that's a joke don't worry folks she don't ever watch my videos but yeah, so that, that was uh, my week. It was actually uh, quite eventful. I, uh, I'm really, really wanting to find a church, folks. I, 
I'd appreciate it if you'd help me pray that God would show me somewhere locally where I don't have to drive two hours uh, to get to a uh, decent King James church. Um, thinking about visiting a couple of them, but if they're not, if they don't know what book to use, I, I just, I can't. <laughs> in other words, if I go in and uh, they say, or they start out with another version of the Bible, that's just going to, I mean, if you don't have enough sense, especially if you're a pastor of a church, to do the homework to figure out why all those versions are bad, a good, really, really good video to watch if you don't know that subject real well. See, I never had that problem. I was born again. Uh, the guy was holding in his hand a King James Bible. And then I went to a King James church. And uh, I never, never doubted it one bit. Uh, and I, I have been in churches where they use something besides the King James. And it, uh, it's just... I'm like, that's not what my Bible says. <laughs> But uh, if they don't have enough sense as a pastor of a church to know, to do the study, to find out who uh, Westcott and Hort and all that, that's a whole lot of shady stuff going on. But A Lamp in the Darkness, uh, you can Google it, it's on YouTube. And uh, it's got two sequels to it. I've got them all on a playlist. I think on my playlist, uh, King James Related. But uh, they're all real good and they'll go into you know how uh, the Nestle text came about and this uh, all that and they even go into the Septuagint which uh, all those things got a real real shady beginning and y'all hear and like I got a Holman study Bible and a Thomas Nelson now I don't the notes are garbage most of them some of them are okay but they uh, will go to the Septuagint all the time the LXX the 70 that supposedly was the Old Testament uh, translated into Greek you can do your own study on that but a lot of uh proof that uh, that's not so. They will say that that's the Bible that Jesus held up when he um, preached in the synagogues and in the temple. But that would be breaking the law because in the law it says that only the Levites were uh, able to copy down the Word of God and the Septuagint come from 70 uh, Jews, but they all came from different tribes, which is not ordained of God, I don't think. So, anyway, I'm not a big uh, expert on that subject. I know uh, the Bible I believe in, it's the King James Bible. Everybody says, oh, it's so hard to understand. No, it's not. It takes a little effort, but reading the Word of God should not be like reading Time magazine. And they have, if you think those other ones are so good, why do they keep updating them? Why do they keep revising them? I mean, wouldn't you be mad if you were like an, uh, uh, an American Standard guy that used the 1901 uh, American Standard and you memorized a bunch of verses? And then they came out with a revision and it changed all those verses. I don't know. You got to look at the one the Lord has used and it's the King James Bible. But uh, that's neither here nor there. We're going to make it to Hayward, California, which is right by the city of Sodomites by the Bay. Uh, San Francisco and we got to deliver this flooring and I don't know what we'll do after that.
But again, I, uh, if Josh, he subscribed to my channel. He said he's going to listen. So if you're listening, brother, I appreciate you coming and all you did with mom. She really enjoyed getting out of the house, I'm sure. And uh, that's really about all I have to say. You guys have a wonderful day. Uh, hope you have a church to go to tomorrow. I hope uh, you would join me in prayer that I could find a King James Bible believing church. There is one right up the street and I went to their website and it was around Halloween and they had like a whole bunch of gimmicks going on for the kids you know hell night and gangster week where they dressed up like 1920 gangsters with their uh, hats and all that and I'm just like that I don't know that just uh, in the church to me I guess I'm old fashioned uh, but uh, oh and I wanted to say again to uh, Ron the Baptist and Kathy if I got her name wrong again I am so sorry I think it's Kathy I'm terrible with names but uh, they gave me that Westminster uh, reference Bible and I put it I looked through it and then I put it on the shelf and uh, because the layout's so different because everybody knows that the Lord himself used a two-column King James Bible with center Bible references. Now, that's a joke, Alice. But it's got the references on the sides. But I started reading that thing, and it really grew on me. And uh, so I brought it on the truck with me, and I've been uh, using it. Uh, I've got two Bibles I carry with me. I got a study Bible because... I do my, you know, I like to hear what somebody else has to say about something I might not necessarily agree with. And then that one, and it's so, it's just the perfect size for the bunk to read. And uh, I, I really like that Bible now. And so thank you again. But you guys, uh, read those Bibles, man. Read them. Like, uh, while I was home, I read the book of Acts, and then I jumped back to Luke, because those two books, actually, you should read Luke first, but those two books uh, go together, and they're like volume one and two, and uh, then I'm, I'm going to go on through the New Testament. What I'm going to do is I'm going to like read Romans, then I'm going to jump back to Matthew, then I'm going to read, you know, uh, 1 Corinthians and jump back to Mark like that. And, uh, I go through the Old Testament. A lot of the Old Testament uh, I listen to on uh, my videos, which you can find in my save playlist. Uh, it should be right on top there. I listened to the one with the living sound where they have the actors acting out all the parts. I just, uh, I enjoy that. But uh, anyway, read your Bibles and pray without ceasing. And God bless each and every one of you. And I also pray that Josh and his family have safe travels going back to Nebraska. God loves you and I love you. And that's the way it should be.